What up? What up, beautiful people? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be breaking down how to create lockdown defense in college football 25 with some adjustments. All the OGs, drop a thumbs up on the video if you're new. Come join the fam. It's free. Let's get into today's breakdown. All this will go more in depth in the Patreon and in the ebooks. Every year in football, you have what people call cheese plays. And every single year, I find the best counters against them. If you want to be able to lock down all the cheese plays in NCAA 25 and Madden 25, make sure that you go in the link in the description and get the ebook or become a Patreon member. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to go to coaching. Debt chart. We're going to make sure that we have two important pieces. Go to rush left in or rush right in, and you're going to be looking for quick jump. If you have one on your team, that's okay. If you have two on your team, you're going to be locked down. You feel me? But make sure that you watch the entire video. So we have two quick jumps. It don't matter. Platinum, bronze, silver, gold. As long as you have at least one quick jump, you good. If you have two quick jumps, G G's, my boy. You feel me? Now we're gonna come out in three three five mint. This is in the three three five tight defensive playbook, and you can find this sprinkled in other playbooks. But right here on the outside, right here, highlight it. That's where you're gonna want to have your quick jump. If you have two of them, put one of the quick jumps at the defensive tackle spot. Also, now if they're running the ball, running the ball, running the ball, that's where you're going to want to have an inside disruptor. This is more of a pass situation. Second and 10, third and long. We're going to have five yard blues, 15 yard purples. Okay, now this is how the defense is going to look. Base, we have the 15 yard purple off to the right. Okay, we have the 15 yard purple off to the left. Now, we're going to bracket that right-hand side. So, the first thing you're going to want to do, you want to want to pinch your defensive line. That's left D-pad down on the left stick. Then, crash inside. Get the double angle over the center. That lets you know that you crashed inside and did it correctly. From there, you all set up. Now, if you want to make a next step, you can go ahead and take that outside linebacker that's blitzing, and you can put him into a zone. Hard flat, that would be your five. If a running back goes out, he's going to play the running back. You have the 15 over the top. If the tight end goes for a corner route, he's going to be bracketed. Okay? And on the left-hand side, I did some sweaty adjustments. So all you want to do is stand about four yards off the line of scrimmage and let the AI make you take one or two steps down because you are in a blitzing angle. Now, if you want to use switch stick with this, Go ahead and put yourself in the zone. The blitz won't come in as fast, but you're still going to be getting that super good pressure with only three man rush. What if they block the running back? If they block the running back, all you're going to do is send that outside linebacker. It's easy. Instead of having a three man pressure, you're going to turn it into a four man pressure. If they block the running back, which is what we want, take that threat off the field, only have three or four routes coming out, that's okay. We still have at least seven in coverage. Seven against four, I would take that all day. Pinch your defensive line, left D pad down on the left stick. Crash inside. We are in cover zero shell if you are facing trips, okay? So you can do default Sam Mike three press is the play okay so say they come out in the trips now if you in cover zero shell you're going to have that blue over the top of receiver number three because you in cover three shell that's okay okay you can adjust to that the inside guy number two the slot man him up the number three go ahead and put him into either the 15 yard purple or the hard flat over there or you can man him up with the number three receiver on the right-hand side, we have it bracketed. We have five yards underneath if the tight end just goes off on the flat. We have the 15 or 20 over the top if he goes into a corner row. They won't get that much time to be able to do anything past 15 yards down the field, and that's what makes this defense so good. Now, if you want to know everything that I do, get the ebook or become a Patreon member. I have a full scheme versus trips, gun bunch tight end, 5-wide, anything they put on the field, we're going to be able to get screamers or lock the pass down. So this is what the running back block. Running back block, 
I'm getting super sweaty. I'm cross manning people, running back block. He's going to stay in. There's less threats on the field. We're just going to blitz that outside guy. We're still going to get good pressure, okay? And then you can even use your contains. So show your support. Get the ebook, Patreon updates every single week. And if you need help on Madden, I got y'all awesome.